Tonight, thieves are suspected of pilfering products off trains in California, leaving thousands of boxes tossed off Union Pacific trains and left scattered on the tracks. It may sound like the train robberies of the Wild West, but it's happening today as the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach struggle to process idling ships, adding to the already snarled supply chain in our pandemic recovery. Our NBC Los Angeles crew caught on camera several container doors swung wide open. That section of the track bordered by homeless encampments on both sides. NBC LA capturing on video these two individuals along the tracks, one hopping on a slow moving train carrying what appears to be bolt cutters. Cargo thieves and organized cargo theft groups is that they will target commodities that they know that they can sell. So they're going to hone in on those commodities that are either high in demand or shortage and harder for people to get. That way they can get a better return on the sale of it when after they steal it. Back in August, officials found $100,000 worth of merchandise taken from a Union Pacific train in a homeless encampment in Pomona, California. The Pomona police telling NBC News that cargo trains are, quote, hit continually and almost weekly. Police saying the stolen items in August appeared to be new with packaging intact, including vehicle tires, small kitchen appliances and fixtures, major appliances, auto-related parts, clothing, shoes, cleaning supplies, baby-related items, and various household items. Union Pacific issuing a statement saying they're aware of the thefts and are working with local law enforcement. The stealing comes as the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach are clogged with 100 ships waiting to dock, a supply chain in crisis worldwide. Freight at rest is freight at risk. So when you see more cargo sitting around, you're certainly going to create a bigger opportunity for cargo theft. The other major ingredients in the increase are going to be the demand and the shortages. And the National Insurance Crime Bureau says cargo theft is likely to increase through 2021. All right, Joe Ling Kent joins us tonight from Lincoln Park, Los Angeles, where more of this has happened. And Joe Ling, in addition to this disturbing train theft, you also have some new reporting on more slowdowns in the supply chain. Yeah, that's right. In addition to the theft and the boxes that you see here behind me, we also know, according to the experts, that warehouse space is at a premium. In fact, warehouse vacancies have fallen to record lows here in the Los Angeles area. It's effectively sold out. So what does that mean for your stuff in the holiday season? Even if it's coming off of a port and it's coming on a container on these railways, it doesn't necessarily get to you or to your store in time because there may not be enough warehouse space and that warehouse building, it takes time. And those warehouses, they can't go up fast enough, Tom. All right, JoLynn Kent with that new reporting, making her top story debut. JoLynn, welcome to the show. Great to have you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.